get a little, I'd still get a little camera shy, believe it or not. But <laughs> dude, I do too. I feel like such a narcissist when I have that thing pointed at me. Yeah. Yeah. She's just like, you're just gonna have to embrace that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna be. In, she's gonna get some muscles in her. <laughs> yeah. Instead of a tiny. Are you? uh I'm good. You, you good? Do whatever you want. All right. Hey guys, we're here with Bust to Beat George. I'm very excited to be over here checking his truck out. We're at the Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. Yep. And so I'm geeking out on the Alu Cab stuff because as everybody knows, I love Alu Cab. And so he's got one of the coolest setup Tacomas that I've seen. And so he's going to run us through this and show us everything he's got going on because he's got it goose geared out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's got pretty much everything you can want on this thing. So we're going to check this bad boy out. Hey guys, so I'm blessed to be George, and dude, thanks for the opportunity to be, yeah, you know, sure, really yeah. hanging out. But yeah, this is my 2017 to Tacoma. Uh, I've been building it for the past six years since I got it, and uh, it's gone through some different phases. But as we traveled, we, you know, we've, we've gone through the transitions, and we ended up going with the Alley Cat Canopy Camper. Um, and uh, I do travel, you know, 16, 15 days out of the month, so. Being comfortable and having everything accessible is always nice. And uh, yeah, so little rundown, you know, we have the Goose Gear uh, utility shelves here, the utility shelves, utility cabinets, pretty much stores all our stuff here. Uh, we have, for the most part, everything is either Goose Gear or everything is Alucat, 13 gallon uh, water tank back there. And uh, we go on this side here. We have a little shelf system also by Goose Gear that allows me to just keep everything organized. That's sweet. It's a little empty right now just because we were moving stuff around. Uh, but yeah, I mean, from our spices to our cups, uh, all the jet oil stuff. And uh, one of the neat things about the setup is just keeping everything organized and just having everything built in, like our Red Arc system that, you know, powers all my camera gear. I mean, you guys, you yeah, guys you know, do a lot of shooting with photography, cinematography stuff. If keeping everything organized is, is nice and keeping everything charged is also nice too. Sweet. So does does any of this stuff, do you have any problems with any of that falling out? No, I don't. I usually have a bungee cord that goes in the back. Okay. Uh, right this on. time around, I just I took it off just because I I didn't know if the guys at MK Ladder were going to be putting stuff in and out. But yeah, I usually put some bungee cords and keeps everything nice and organized. Everything, once we close this door, nothing's going to be moving around. Right. So Awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And these, this is like a new option, right? Yeah, so this is their H series. Um, it's not out just yet. Um, we use this truck to kind of just prototype it, get all the measurements, get everything ready to roll. And uh, the reason why I know that is because I filmed their install video. Oh yeah. So, so I got cool. a little bit of the inside. So um, if you guys are wondering, you know, we haven't seen this on their website. It's because it's still being, um, I guess it's, uh, this one that's probably being made. Right. So so you can definitely tune in the next hopefully next couple months and maybe they'll have it live on their website. But yeah, the Goose Gear system definitely has made a big difference. No more carrying, you know, random boxes or right. stuff kind of moving around now, just having everything organized. Um, yeah, it's made a big difference for sure. And then you are on a 35 inch tire now? 35 inch tire, uh, Toyo tires, uh, not needed. You know, I, I rocked 285, yeah. 75 for a long time and, and, uh, and I just wanted to go something, something a little bigger, something a little more aggressive. Uh, but definitely, I mean, the weight on these things, uh, you know, takes a toll on the gas. Yep. So, if I recommend them, you know, if you want to rock them, you can rock them. But 285 was what I had before, and uh, you were happy with it. I was happy. But yeah, Toyota tires, you know, they've, they've been right on. Really it good looks good, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, you like them? Yeah, it looks solid. It's super aggressive. <laughs> yeah, man. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, you got the little easy supplies, little carrier, magnetic, and just little, little details that just make camping a little easier. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. What bumper is this you got back right here? So this one here is the Alkir Solutions. Um, these guys are in Huntington Beach, California. Uh, great bumper. Uh, recently uh, got it done. I've been kind of dodging getting a bumper just because I was towing a, a trailer, right. like a boat. Uh, but finally, now with the alley cap setup, you know we're not going to be towing very much, and. Uh, High clearance bumper is always needed when you're hitting trails. Yeah. Um, the last thing we need is stuff getting scuffed up and not necessarily scuffed up, but just ripping out a bumper that's OEM when you can right. just upgrade and, and avoid hitting anything and just having that extra clearance. And that's got to be one of the lightest weight ones on oh, the market. Oh, it is. It is. That's one of the main reasons why I decided this bumper was the right one. Uh, plated bumpers are nice, you know but they are also heavy. Yep. So we're trying, as it is, we are running pretty heavy and cutting down on some weight if we can is, is 
is always nice. Yep, it's the Toyota struggle, I'm with you. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> and you know what's crazy? So earlier, this guy came around, he, he was a subscriber, and he was tuned to us. And this truck is not, it's never been tuned. Have you heard of that? Yeah, the, 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 there's, there's like, a million. There's yeah. OB-Tune, a bunch of stuff. Anyways, well, this guy's, yeah, dude, like, I'll tune your truck with the weight that you're carrying. I'm like, yeah, well, I'll have to come back to Washington. He tuned it on the spot. Really? Yeah. So so I'm definitely looking forward to, to driving it home, especially with everything that I have. Um, that's going to be pretty nice. Okay. And you're going to do a video on the tune? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So check out Busta Beat George's <laughs> channel and I'll definitely link that below yeah, so you guys can sure. follow him if you don't already. Most of my subscribers probably already follow you, but just in case. Yeah, yeah. This thing is sweet. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's been it's been a it's been a, a, a different change for us. I mean, now I have a seven, uh, seventh month old baby. Um, I'm trying to get her even at that young age, uh, trying to get her as involved as possible in the channel. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be dope just going out with the wife and the baby and and just hitting the road full time and just bringing the content for you cool, guys. You know? Awesome. Yeah, and it makes a big impact on kids because, like, my dad took, I grew up, my dad was taking me fishing, taking me to catch frogs and stuff, and, like, obviously, it's pulled into my adult life, you know? It's, yeah. It's good memories. It's better than sitting in front of the TV. Did you sitting. guys catch and cook the frogs or just caught them? Um, I've, you know, I was too in love with them at that time in my life, but I have eaten frogs and plenty of them since then. Nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll pretty much eat anything now. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> I'm just asking because I do, I love catching cooks, and when people talk about frogs, like, Frogs are pretty bomb. Yeah, I've actually hunted them with a, an AR-15 with a 22 conversion. Okay. <laughs> we were blowing. What? <laughs> yeah, you blow them sky high. That's and then you just buy them all up. Yeah, a lot, pretty fun. Nice. But anyway, get, getting off the bullfrog territory. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man, this thing is sweet. Thank you. No, thank you. And, and like I said, I just it's one of those things that I never... I mean, I've been camping since I was a kid. And to be able to, you know, continue doing what I do and, and just trip out on the stuff that's out there, like alley cap, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty... And it's very... It's burly. Well thought out. Yeah. It's perfect. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, right on, man. Yeah, I, I mostly just wanted to check that out. I'm sure people can see the whole truck build on your channel. Yeah, sure and, uh, Yeah, so check out Busta Beat George. I'll link that again. Sorry. Again, I will link that below. Busta Beat George. And uh, thanks for your time, man. Yeah, no appreciate problem. It. No problem. Yeah, nice to meet you. Likewise. As always, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to check out my other adventure, off-road, and overland-related content.